GM's new Ultium battery is set to revolutionize the automotive industry. The company's bold claim to crush those losers reflects its confidence in this new technology. But what benefits does this new battery offer? How is GM leveraging it to advance among EV manufacturers? And why is it expected to reshape the entire EV industry? Let's explore these questions in today's video. To dominate the electric vehicle market, a company must excel in battery technology. This is crucial for competing with Tesla, a leader in EV design and battery innovation. Mary Barra, GM's CEO, is rising to this challenge by investing in the Ultium battery, a key element in GM's bid for the top spot in the EV market. Founded in 1908, GM has traditionally been known for gasoline-powered vehicles, selling millions each year. This year alone, the Detroit-based automaker has manufactured and delivered two, two million vehicles in the U.S. Over the decades, GM has owned more than 40 brands, including Cadillac, Buick, Chevrolet, and Oldsmobile. Despite its long history, GM has explored electric vehicles before. More than 25 years ago, the company developed the EV1, a modern electric vehicle that, despite its limited range and other issues, influenced the development of EVs across the industry. GM's introduction of the Ultium battery marks a significant advancement. The key feature of the Ultium battery is its cost efficiency, at approximately $100 per kilowatt hour. It dramatically reduces the cost of electric vehicles, making them competitive with gasoline-powered cars. This is a substantial improvement over the $1,000 per kilowatt-hour cost of the 2010 Chevrolet Volt battery. GM's second-generation Ultium packs are expected to cost about 60% less, further lowering EV prices. The Ultium battery also boasts improved range and efficiency. Unlike Tesla's cylindrical cells, GM uses pouch-style cells, which are larger and more energy-dense. These cells can be configured vertically or horizontally, optimizing space and simplifying recycling. The battery's design allows for 37 kilowatt-hours of power, bundled into 24 cell modules, enhancing overall vehicle efficiency. In contrast to the NMC formula used in the Bolt EV, the Ultium battery employs a nickel-manganese-cobalt aluminum composition. This innovative approach aims to set GM apart in the rapidly evolving EV market. This results in a 70% decrease in the amount of cobalt required. In addition, aluminum helps to reinforce the electrodes and prevents the production of lithium spikes during rapid charging. Lithium spikes can cause a battery to short circuit, which can lead to various problems. As a direct consequence, the battery will last significantly longer than similar batteries. You don't even have to worry about whether quick DC charges could potentially be harmful to your battery. Another feature of the Ultium architecture is that it requires 80% less wiring in the battery pack compared to the wiring used in the Bolt's battery pack. This allows for wireless management of the battery. GM will be the first company to deploy a technology similar to Bluetooth 2. Zero to wirelessly monitor battery cells in the 4 GHz band. This minimizes the weight, complexity, cost, warranty difficulties associated with soldering all those wired connections, and the space required to do so. Wireless connectivity continuously monitors the battery's status and exchanges information with the cloud to discover potential difficulties with certain battery batches and use cases. This information can be used to identify potential problems. Additionally, it enables the battery to be reprogrammed when an earlier pack is reused or when a more recent battery chemistry is retrofitted. The Ultium battery is an innovative and game-changing product. It shouldn't come as a surprise that six module packs, rated for 50 kilowatt hours of usable capacity, may be packed into the smallest and lightest vehicles. Each Ultium battery module consists of 24 cells that have the capacity to hold 8, 9 kilowatt hours. The electric version of the Hummer produced by GM can be powered by a sizable battery pack operating at 200 kilowatt hours. Because the EPA is unable to evaluate the Hummer due to its size, we rely on the estimation that GMC has provided, which is 328 miles. On the other hand, if we had a car that was more compact and lighter, we would be able to reach over 400 miles. The announcement that an Ultium battery would be used in Cadillac's electric drivetrain was one of the earliest for any electric vehicle. This vehicle should be able to travel in excess of 300 miles when equipped with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. How should the charge be applied to the Ultium battery? Is it quick? The majority of lithium battery packs have an operating voltage of 400 volts which enables them to receive DC fast charging at up to 250 kilowatts. The response to this question is unequivocally yes. However, 
It is possible to wire two 400 volt packs in series to create an 800 volt system while charging the Hummer EV, which will allow for even more acceleration. The vehicle needs to be able to make use of 350 kilowatt charges, which should add 100 miles to its range in 10 minutes. On the other hand, according to GM, it is more cost effective to transition between 400 volt and 800 volt operation rather than to use an 800 volt system designed specifically for the Porsche Taycan. Additionally, the Ultium battery has a high degree of adaptability. It has the capacity to house 6, 8, 10, 12, or even up to 24 modules, which enables it to provide power to a diverse range of GMC automobiles. Design engineers are able to rearrange the battery pack to optimize the vehicle's height and length for aerodynamics. This is evidenced by the fact that the aesthetics have a dry feel and storage, and it is not complex. There are now 19 different battery and drivetrain configurations that GM is working on creating. In contrast to the 550 models offered with an internal combustion engine, GM has made the Ultium battery more durable so that it may be used for a longer period of time. If you use DC charging, you can bring the battery up to its full capacity and still expect it to last between 150,000 and 250,000 cycles before it needs to be replaced. How exactly does General Motors plan to manufacture the Ultium battery? The company plans to work with a variety of other companies, including two. For example, in constructing a facility in Lordstown, Ohio, for the bulk production of Ultium battery cells, this set the company back $3 billion. The formation of a joint venture between LG Energy Solutions and Ultium Cells LLC has made this possible. The plant will be responsible for creating more than 1,100 new jobs. A second manufacturing facility will be built in Spring Hill, Tennessee, by General Motors with the assistance of Ultium Cells LLC at a cost of $2.3 billion. That pretty much wraps up this video. Guys, thanks for watching. So what are your thoughts about GM's new Ultium battery? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here that you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.